a year ago I made this video and it still stands up till this day. Now, the video I made a year ago, right, it's called Attack on Titan is God Tier, okay? And this video is basically like a part two of that, I know, one year later, right? But hear me out, I've been reading a lot of Attack on Titan later, and I recently got a comment on that video, I was like, I might as well make a part two. Plus, at that time of the video, I hadn't read the greatness, the holiness that is the Attack on Titan manga. Like, honestly, bro, that manga for me, bro, cemented to me that this series is not only good anime-wise, but even going further down into the manga, that this series will go down in history as peak fiction, okay? Like, this is the type of series that gets Death Note type of tier levels, okay? And we all know that Death Note is untouchable when it comes to anime and mangas to recommend to somebody. Attack on Titan is the type of series that you're gonna recommend to people years and years down the line as one of those classics that you just have to watch if you want to be cemented as a true anime fan, just like Death Note, just like Dragon Ball, etc. Like, honestly, Attack on Titan is a series that if you don't watch it, if you don't like just tune in weekly and pay attention to every single episode that you're honestly gonna miss out on okay like i'm not saying the story is hard to follow but there's so much that's just packed into it that you're like wow bro i'm glad i paid attention to every single moment every single second every single thing that happened in this series because if it wasn't i wouldn't be as avid a fan as i am today okay from this point on i'm about to throw in some spoilers so if you want to skip ahead Go ahead, I'll put a timestamp or something. But man, when Attack on Titan did the whole twist with the fact that Eldia and the mainland, it's all like just one huge war of just racism and hate and fascism that's just spawned on for centuries and centuries and centuries. Bro, this series feels like a deep dive into the minds of people that were just caught up in the war of World War II and people that just weren't truly evil, but they were doing it because it was either that they were spewed lies by their leaders of their country or they just wish to help their family get out of the situation that they were in. And we encounter a lot of characters that are exactly like this. Gabby, for example. Reiner, for example. And those are two characters that are honestly written so good. Like, they're written so good that we hate them, but we don't realize that we love them sort of thing, okay? And don't even get me started on Aaron, who is possibly the greatest main character that I have ever witnessed okay the morally gray main character that's the type of character that's honestly written so well that you can't help but support his evil ideas okay let me put y'all on because first of all aaron is a guy that is dead center in the middle of this okay he's dead center in the middle of the warring between both sides realizing what's the right path and realizing that in order to save everyone he has to just start new. Like, there's no way to fix the years of hatred, the years of racism that have gone on for centuries at this point, okay? Like, the only thing you can do right now is to just wipe a clean slate. Like, Aaron, the fact that he's making that decision, realizing that he's going to kill people that are innocent, people that were great people, people that helped elderly, all these great people, all for the fact to save the world in the future, to make sure the world is a better place down the line. That right there is making Aaron such a great main character to me, okay? He has to become the evil that he once hated in order to create a better life. And a character that noble, that selfless, is someone that I can't help but support in his ideas. Like, I understand what he's doing is wrong, but because of the reasons that he's doing it and the way he's going about it, I have to root for him. I have to hope that he succeeds because his way is the only right way right now. And it's it's tragic, but wiping the slate clean just may be the only path. And the fact that the only person that can possibly understand why he feels this way and exactly why he's acting the way he's acting is the man that is responsible for the death of his family, the death of his mother. The reason he's even on this path to begin with is... Due to the man known as Rainer, the only man that can truly understand 
his hatred, his pain, his moral confusion when it comes to all this is Rainer. Okay, he is truly the only man I believe can understand Aaron to this point. The only man that I doubt could even stop Aaron. The only man that could have a straight conversation with Aaron on why the path that he's going on right now is either wrong, but it's necessary, or right, but it's evil. And that's honestly what makes Attack on Titan great for me. The fact of that Ishiyama can honestly write such great characters with such great moral foils between each other and the fact that they're all just really trying to survive and be happy by the end of this like they don't care about anything else at this point bro they just want a peaceful life and the fact that they have to go through so much in order to achieve this is honestly inspirational to me the fact that he can write such good characters so in depth writing such great human emotion without being overly biased to one side or another he's just writing characters exactly how they are there's no cheap crap about it there's no oh i kind of feel like doing this no it's literally that he's writing them exactly how they would react in real life okay like this guy ishiyama is a great writer he knows how to write characters he could write any type of character in my opinion and still find a way to make you understand their ideas their morals and still almost feel bad for them in the sense that they have to go through all of this in a world that they just want to survive in but that's the reason that i love attack on titan because it's honestly a great series with great character arcs and it just has everything i could look for in a series that makes me truly understand why some people acted the same way they do helps me get a better understanding to human ideas and morality in a sense and i honestly just love that series okay and my name is Time Pizza, and I really hope you guys enjoyed because Attack on Titan is peak fiction. We move.